Hello everybody, we're back here on Way of the Hunter, and today we're going to be taking a look at the second to last brand new rifle added with the Remington Arms Pack. Now this one right here is the Remington 700 chambered in 300 Magnum. This is going to be quite a fun rifle to use as 300 Magnum is already in the game, and we know that it's a powerhouse, but this rifle just looks so incredibly good, and is probably one of the nicer looking rifle designs in all of the game. There is just something about the beautiful silver finish throughout the barrel, receiver, bolt, and trigger that just looks really nice paired with the marbleized looking synthetic stock. And this is definitely one of my favorite looks for the Remington 700. And in fact, I was going to buy one of these at one point a few months ago, but I ended up going with a different rifle that they had there as well, which just happened to be the Browning uh, Bar Mark II, chambered in 7mm Remington Magnum. But one of these days I would like to pick up one of these Remington 700s with this particular finish because they do look really nice and Remington 700s are very reliable rifles and a decently priced as well. And now that we have got a chance to take a look at this rifle up close, let's go ahead and see how it performs on some brown bear as it should do just as good as the other 300 Magnum and in fact look a lot nicer doing it. Now I do want to say that I love the uh, the Steyr SM12 chambered in 300 Magnum, the rifle that we already had in the game, but this one I just personally like the look of a lot more. I think it is just a gorgeous rifle, and though both of the 300 Magnums in the game are great, both of them look good in their own uh, respective ways, but I just love the synthetic stock on this one and the silver finished barrel and stuff. It just looks really good to me. So that's a one star young brown bear. I don't know if we're going to be able to find anything older than young as they did just release recently and I haven't played Transylvania enough for them to age into the mature stage so I think we're going to end up taking a lot of young brown bear today but we primarily just want to see how good this rifle performs on them and I think this is going to be a relatively decent shot to try and take on it. Uh, let's go ahead and get lined up and see how good this thing does on the brown bear. Well, it seems like it has done pretty good, or at least as good as I would have expected. Now, let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and see what the damage is like on this thing. Well, unfortunately, it seems like our first shot of the day was a pretty bad one, which uh, really doesn't surprise me as I did take a shot when it was laying down, which is not ideal. So, we're probably going to go try and find a better target to take down as that one was in a weird spot, and I probably shouldn't have even shot it, but I wanted to see if we could... Unfortunately, we definitely couldn't, but let's go find us another brown bear to shoot because there's definitely some more of them along this river. Though I'm not seeing any brown bear in this drink zone, we are seeing a few mouflon, and I actually have not shot a lot of these, so I think we're going to go ahead and take one of them. There was a one-star adult, and it's that guy right there, and I think we will take him with the 300 Magnum and see what it does to one of these poor little mouflon. So let's go ahead and get lined up, and... Yeah, it's about what I expected. That reload animation is so smooth. That is one strong point that all of the rifles in Way of the Hunter have is the reload animations look really good. And you can actually see that he was loading in the exact ammunition that is pictured in the encyclopedia, which is shown right here. Federal premium uh, terminal something. I'm assuming that it says it's somewhere down here too, but anyway, it is the exact ammo that they show here in the encyclopedia, which I do think is really cool attention to detail, and so you can actually see what ammunition you're using, and it says that this is actually a 200 grain bullet as well, so that's really cool, this little feature that not a lot of people even know about, I, I just love that they did it this way to where you can see the exact ammunition that you're using and you can kind of compare it to the performance it would have in real life as well, which is awesome. You know, it's not too often that you fire around at a mouflon and it decides to do a belly flop, but the 300 Magnum is just powerful enough to where it does that and we can see we've got damage to both lungs. In fact, a complete pass through, which is crazy. That is, uh, that's a lot of damage and another Small attention to detail that I wanted to point out is it shows the correct bullet in the trophy screen as well, which is really, really awesome. I've never noticed this until recently, and it's just blown me away that they took this much time and paid so close attention that they got everything perfectly aligned with each other to make it all work in a very cohesive way that makes it so it, it just fully immerses you into this game. 
And again, this is a bit big for a Mouflon, but honestly, getting 4-star hunt rating is still pretty good for using a 300 Magnum, which is a decent bit above the recommended energy. Uh, overall, though, just a really fun gun to use on pretty much anything so far. Well, it seems like for once the call actually worked. I've had a real rough time getting callers to work in this game, and it seems like maybe it actually did this time. That does appear to be a low fitness male, and I believe this is a one-star mature that I had seen. Regardless, we're going to take it down to try and get some of the bad genes out of our herds. And of course he goes over the hill, so we might have to move up a little bit further. So it's been about 20 minutes of waiting for the proper wind direction to be able to get this guy to come in again. But I think we are about to finally have him in our view once again, provided he actually decides to come into this call. And I think there's a good chance that he will. In fact, that's him right there. If we can just get a good angle, we can probably take him down right now. Let's move up a little bit and see if we can find the right spot to take this shot. This right here does appear to be our best opportunity. Except for the fact that apparently that limb still blocks shots. But we got a shot into him regardless, even though it wasn't a pretty shot. Unfortunately, it seems that that shot was not even remotely close to hitting anything vital, so this guy is not going to die, unfortunately, and that first shot did completely miss. So it looks like there still is some problems with uh, shooting through branches, which uh, I kind of figured there would be, but I was hoping that it would be completely ironed out. I know they adjusted which ones can block your shots and how big the hitboxes are on those limbs, but it seems like it still does happen often enough that I'm not going to risk shooting through trees that much. We now have a lot of wild boar in front of us, and we're definitely going to take down one of them. That guy is looking like a really good target, as it is a one-star mature, so it's got no chance of being good genetics. Let's go ahead and get lined up and take the shot on him. And it dropped him on the spot, which honestly is a rarity with the wild boar. I don't see too many of them drop the second that you shoot them, but that was definitely one of those situations. And really nice to see. I did spot some rabbits over here to our left, but I don't exactly have a gun that can take them ethically. But, I mean, since it's the first time I've ever seen these guys, I feel like we have to take at least one of them. And that one is going to be this little dude right here. So, without further ado, 300 Magnum versus a European Hare. This is excessive. But oh so satisfying. So, I think we may have ran into a slight issue. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but this is definitely not normal. Oh my. <laughs> I think I broke the game. I, I think I officially broke it. What happens if I... What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? What if I pull out the 30 out 6? Yeah, we're, we're still going. Still going. Huh, that's a new one. Well, can we, can we shoot? And that's all we needed to do to fix it. Well then. That was probably the most interesting bug I've ran into in Way of the Hunter. And I mean, I've played this game a good bit at this point. Probably 170 or 180 hours between early access and post-launch and... Never seen something quite like that, so that was definitely interesting. But let's go ahead and grab our first ever European hair and see what it is. 51% genetics, so yeah, not anything too crazy. I gotta say, they look really nice though. That model is very good. But as you would expect, not a good caliber to be using on rabbits if you're trying to get the full hunt rating and that just went all the way through it, destroying everything in its path. There would be literally nothing left of this little guy. And there is our wild boar. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage. That was a perfect double lung shot. This is a little bit high for uh, recommended energy, but I mean, it took it down super quick. And with the boar running as far as they do, I'm okay with losing one star of hunt rating just to get them down quicker. Uh, that way I don't have to track them as far as I typically would with other calibers. And uh, it did pretty good on them. 300 Magnum 
is known to be a very good caliber in the game for larger stuff, so it's natural that it would just completely blow through something the size of a boar. With a one-star mature Mouflon in front of us, it's time to take our next shot. Let's try to get lined up on this guy before he goes out of our view, and... Just like that, he hits the dirt. Now, hopefully, we can find ourselves a bear or a red deer at this lake, as there is typically quite a few of them around here. But so far, I haven't seen any, so I figured we might as well at least take down that Mouflon. Well, there it is. There is our first brown bear of the day, besides the one that we completely screwed up. But, you know, we're, we're not going to count that one, because that was terrible. So let's go ahead and line up a shot on this guy right here. I think we should be good if we zero to about... 300, we'll say? That looked really good. And it was. He's already dead. That was a crazy shot on that guy. Way better than our first attempt at a brown bear kill this uh, this hunt. Well, there's the Mouflon. This guy's quite the wonky looking one as well. We ended up getting double lung. And yeah, that thing is incredibly weird and uneven looking. 38% on the genetics as I would have expected it to be pretty low. And it looks like we've got a total of 10 kgs of meat loss. So yeah, it's a little bit big for them. But again, it still does pretty good on Mouflon as you would expect. It's uh, a little bit more powerful than what you would be normally using on them. So it's natural that it's going to drop them on the spot in most cases. And overall, 300 is just a powerhouse. There's our brown bear. Let's go ahead and take a look at where we hit him. I imagine this might have been spine. Yeah, it was a spine shot, so that explains why it dropped it on the spot. But that right there was a 39% genetics adult one-star male. Good one to get down, and the 300 Magnum did the job about as well as we would have expected it to. And honestly, the range for brown bear seems to have maybe increased. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like before... It was a little bit lower. 5,500 seems higher than what I remember. But I could just be remembering things incorrectly. You guys can let me know in the comments if I am thinking of something else or if they actually did change this because it does look different to me. You know, it's funny how we started this hunt today as a brown bear hunt with the brand new Remington 700 and 300 Magnum and ended up shooting just kind of whatever we found because the brown bear were not cooperating. We still got a few good kills and though we did not have many things go right today, we at least got a few mouflon as well as one brown bear here at the end and a couple things in between. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Remington 700 300 Magnum. Very cool gun. Definitely my favorite of the two 300s. And I'll probably be using it a lot in the future as well. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see me do next here on Way of the Hunter. And if enough of you want me to do something, I'll probably end up doing it. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!